Canon, an old TV series from the early 1970s, tells the stories of a private detective known for his sharp mind and big presence. This show has entertained many with its mix of drama, action, and moments ranging from funny to shocking or sad. As we explore this classic series, we'll find interesting facts to keep you interested. Have you ever thought about how a TV show can stick with someone for a long time? Think about when you first saw this series. Was it a random rerun one afternoon that caught your eye, or did a family member introduce you to it, starting a lifelong liking for it? The personal stories of when and how people discovered this show can be as interesting as the episodes themselves. Now, we're curious about your favorite memory or personal experience with this series. Maybe it inspired you in a surprising way or provided comfort during a tough time. Whatever your story, we'd love to hear your memories and experiences in the comments below. Keep in mind, every shared memory helps to keep the history of this special series alive. In 1971, a TV series emerged that would leave a lasting impression on popular culture. The show Follow would a private detective known for his sharp mind and larger-than-life persona. Audiences were drawn to the gripping mix of drama and action, making it a hit during the early 1970s. Whether stumbled upon randomly or introduced by a family member, discovering the show became as fascinating as the episodes themselves. The show didn't just stay on the screen. It sparked a cultural phenomenon, giving rise to spin-offs, merchandise, and adaptations. The characters' charisma and engaging narratives paved the way for various extensions from novels to comic books, making it a cherished part of popular culture. Merchandise tied to the series, like detective-themed items, became sought after, reflecting the show's enduring impact. The character's image became iconic, resonating in different forms of media and solidifying its place in television history. The show's enduring appeal is seen in stories of how it inspired individuals or provided comfort during tough times. Viewers touched by the series continue to share memories, keeping the history of this special show alive. It's a reminder of the show's ability to weave itself into people's lives, leaving a lasting impression that goes beyond the TV screen. In conclusion, this TV series has an undeniable impact on popular culture, extending well beyond its initial airing. Its ability to captivate audiences and create a lasting legacy in spin-offs and merchandise solidifies its place as a cultural touchstone that continues to connect with fans old and new. The 1971 TV series Canon undeniably left a lasting impression on popular culture, influencing subsequent TV shows, movies, and media. Its influence wasn't confined to the screen. It set a precedent for detective-themed content that resonated across various forms of entertainment. During the same era, other shows attempted to copy the charisma and storytelling of Canon, but few could match its unique blend of sharp wit, compelling stories, and the larger-than-life presence of its central character. While some contemporaneous shows may have shared the detective genre, Canon's unique formula of drama and action set it apart. Its influence reached beyond mere entertainment, inspiring a wave of detective novels and comic books. The character's image became iconic, contributing to a cultural phenomenon that extended beyond the confines of the television screen. Following Canon's success, a slew of spin-offs emerged, trying to capture the magic that made the original series a hit. However, none quite replicated the dynamic essence of canon, highlighting the distinctive quality that set it apart in television. The character's impact wasn't limited to the narrative. It seeped into merchandise, with detective-themed items becoming sought-after artifacts that reflected the lasting influence of the show. Canon's ability to captivate audiences and weave itself into popular culture is evident in the stories of its viewers. Many found solace and inspiration in the series, creating a personal connection that endured over time. As viewers continue to share their memories, the history of this special show remains alive, showcasing its profound and lasting influence. In summary, Canon's influence on subsequent TV shows, movies, and media is palpable and far-reaching. Its unique blend of drama, action, and charismatic storytelling paved the way for a cultural touchstone that continues to connect with fans old and new. As a pioneer in the detective genre, Canon's impact extends well beyond its initial airing, leaving a significant mark on popular culture. The phone in Frank Cannon's car, identifiable by the mobile number 213-191-9221, added a touch of realism to the show, allowing him to stay connected while on the go. This seemingly mundane detail reflected the commitment to authenticity in depicting the life of a private detective. 
The license plate of his Cannonmobile varied in different episodes, with 963 XUJ and 825 DQI being the two frequently featured plates. This subtle inconsistency in the license plates might have gone unnoticed by many viewers, but it added a layer of detail to his world, showcasing the production team's attention to small nuances. His distinctive melody, typically played by the tuba and or trombones in the main title and background music, cleverly alluded to his robust physique. This musical choice not only complemented his larger-than-life presence, but also became a recognizable motif throughout the series. These seemingly trivial elements, from the phone number to the license plate and musical cues, contribute to the overall texture of the show, enriching the viewing experience. They showcased the meticulous craftsmanship that went into creating his world, elevating the series beyond its detective narrative. In a world saturated with detective-themed content, his ability to stand out lies in its unique blend of drama and action. The show's influence goes beyond the screen, inspiring a wave of detective novels and comic books. His impact on popular culture is evident not just in the narrative, but also in the merchandise, turning detective-themed items into sought-after artifacts. As viewers continue to share their memories, it becomes clear that his lasting influence goes beyond its initial airing. The series connected with audiences in unexpected ways, providing solace and inspiration. The phone number, license plate, and distinctive melody are not mere details, but essential components that contribute to the charm of this classic 1971 TV series. Season 1 of the 1971 TV series canon introduced a unique format. Each episode began with a brief scene preceding the opening credits, providing viewers with a preview of the upcoming hour. However, in the subsequent four seasons and 96 episodes, the customary opening credits took precedence, omitting the preview element. Viacom, the distributor of the show, later ventured into another project featuring William Conrad, resulting in the creation of Jake and the Fatman, which enjoyed a five-season run. This expansion showcases the collaboration between key players in the television industry during that era. Intriguingly, the book Creating the Filmation Generation unveils a missed opportunity for an animated spin-off titled Young Cannon during the 1972-1973 season. Despite securing rights from Quinn Martin, the proposed show failed to materialize as CBS, led by Fred Silverman, declined the concept. This animated endeavor could have added a unique dimension to the show's universe, but it remained unrealized. These behind-the-scenes dynamics highlight the changing nature of television production during the early 1970s. The series distributor branching into related ventures and the unrealized animated spin-off underscore the dynamic nature of the industry during this period.